Will it be the young gun or the veteran who leads the opening lap? They're spooling things up. Aaron Likens will go green and indeed. Green, green, green. Norbert coming across. He may lose one spot, maybe two. He'll go to the outside. How good are they coming through here so far? Three, four, almost five wide coming through turn number three. Xander, they'll work their way to turn number four. Miller's going to try to hold, but Moya tries to go around the outside. And Austin Garrison ripped the high side as well. He cut right up to Moya at the end of turns four and five. A few drivers back down the ways were kind of woed up, but a great power move from Garrison's got him around turny. He's into fourth. So it is Miller back to Kai Hunter, Ruben Moya, and into the wall. First lap, carnage further back. Nick Turlecki has pounded the outside barriers. We'll catch up with that later, though, because anything could happen in the final few turns of lap number one, Henry. The big loser on lap number one was Ryan Norberg, but it's Turney and Norberg running five and six. They, Ryan said he wanted a battle, Joe Turney. I'm not sure he thought he meant he was going to be battling for the last place on the podium early stages yet. Moya making a move to the inside of Kai Hunter now, so move Ruben Moya up into the second, the Pantano chassis. All good though for Stephen Miller up front. Ruben Moyer's teammate right at the back of the field as uh, Kai Hunter loses another place, this time to Ryan Norberg. And you can almost see Hunter slapping the steering Ooh. wheel there. Uh, oh no, that was Norberg, I think. Uh, well, that was uh, Hunter yeah. to the yeah. side of Ingrata. Yeah, those, those are the three RPG teammates. I don't yeah. think Hunter was happy with that at all, getting roughed up a little bit by Aiden Ingrata. Now to the lead here goes uh, Ruben Moya, early move, first move for the top spot. And the top three have a little bit of a gap back to JT and Norberg. Ryan Norberg, Kai Hunter, those two drivers have uh, been very good on the long run throughout this weekend. So don't be surprised that they might even be a little bit lower on air pressure here. They're smart. They're wily veterans, just like Joe Turney and Austin Garrison. With Turney going through to third, his strategy, of course, staying ahead of the battles that could let the leader get away. That yellow and gray Pantano up front. And if anything, it might be getting even closer. Here's Turney getting up up to second he's made that move now multiple times Rob just and, slowly yeah. chipping away it's been a march forward for Joe Turney just methodical patient and he loves that corner turn number 16 the left hand hairpin Turney is rotating his cart through the corner he's using much less tarmac than Ruben Moya and yet he is not bogging down he's still gaining ground as Garrison moves to third Turney's cart looks absolutely superb at this point Austin Garrison watched and was involved in the fight for second last year guys as they all let Dono get away and I think he's trying to keep his sights on the 58 and not let JT get too far up the road so he had to go there on uh, Stephen Miller and now let's see does Turney pull the trigger he looks there but it wasn't quite enough and that'll that one botched attempt Rob backs them up again this one's going to start to get a bit spicy because here we go Moy is starting to get a little more defensive super surprising to me oh a little issue there for Turney yeah. as he has trouble going through the corner he he tried to do the crossover. Garrison was uh, not anticipating it, and they both misjudged and made contact. But again, trying to get creative as the yellow flags are displayed for something up the road there or in that triple apex, Henry. Yeah, there was a two-cart collision a lap ago. An RPG cart was on its roof. The driver just got it got ejected. It was Lucas the Longchamp. He got thrown out of the cart and landed on his feet. And didn't he? that's the second time he's been out of his cart, but he's up and out of the way. The other driver, I couldn't quite see, but we go back to the front. Moya is defending, and it's not even halfway. Oh, Kai Hunter got a little bit scary there in turn one. Big lock up nearly into the side of Norberg, who bailed out quickly. Now, Stephen Miller trying to be a hero to the high side. Not going to happen. Gets a little wheel there from Turney. Garrison, once again, nowhere to go for the number six. He'll lose more spots. And yeah, look who's coming back into the fight. You're going to have Lopez back in here. we got Higgins. I might even be Benia on the back. Norberg. Pick it up and put him into P3. And look at the 54 of Garcia Lopez. Moya deliberately backed them up. This is exactly what Ruben Moya wanted to have happen. He wanted to slow everybody down. And then as they tripped over each other, he's gone. And he's got the biggest lead that anyone's had all race. Austin Garrison again trapped in a terrible spot. Matt Higgins now trying to take advantage. He'll throw a little hip check there to the number six. Not going to get by, though. Garrison holds, and now Higgins has to bail into line before Dono gets through. And again, it just that battle almost kind of works its way through the pack, and so the guys in the front get away. He's Norberg and Miller are 
holding station at that 1.2, 1.3 second gap. And as Joe locks in, now he looks inside with a deep set. Joe Turney to the lead at the end of lap 16, fellas. Henry, he you said it was inevitable. He was going to make a pass sooner or later, but Moya's going to come right back at him. Not quite. Does have a look, but Turney now goes to the lead. That pass has allowed. Look at this purple card coming through. Not that far back. Now for Ryan Norberg. Norberg's got to go. Norberg's got to go, but he can't. He had a little look at the inside. Runs a bit wide on exit of turn number one. Moya, last time around, clipped the inside curb at turn number 11, and that unsettled the cart, and it gave turnings a couple of extra cart lengths. He's got to be careful, right? Again, that's the thing with the botch pass. You let the guy know that you're there, and he'll start defending. We are getting set up for a battle, but only if Norberg can get by Moya soon. He had a look there in the triple apex. Also further back, you've seen the delta go from three seconds to five seconds. It is a mad scrum for fifth on back. This is the only battle that will be for the win, or at least the only drivers involved in it. The fortunes in this race have ebbed and flowed. The Kart Republic looked strong early on. Then the Pantano chassis came back. Then the Kart Republic in the middle of the race was strong. Now at the end of the race, is the Pantano chassis even stronger? Uh, yeah, we thought that maybe Norberg was the one that was going to put the challenge in. Maybe it's going to be Ruben Moya. He is starting to step things up. Look at the pressure he's putting on Joe Turney right now. This isn't a shot with Turney going away, Xander. This is 100% Moya going after him as well. We may see the drivers like Norberg and Miller pick up the pieces. Joe Turney now having to white line just a little bit, although Moya made a mistake. Norberg is there. Right. Ryan Norberg getting driven down to the wall, down the front straightaway. Moya opens back up. That could draw a penalty as well. And through turn one, Joe Turney with a huge lead now over to turns number four. That's what it needed right there for Turney. He needed them to battle. Let's let Miller says enough's enough. He's going to go around the outside. Norberg can't get it done. This thing's going to go to Joe Turney, the fighting for second, and he walks away by himself. They're going to get super aggressive. Miller almost walls it, trying to go to the inside through 9 and 10. Joe Turney ready to go back to back here at Super Nationals 27. He'll work his way out of turn number 13. Great run here for Joe Turney. Did not put a wheel wrong through the final couple of corners. Moya tried to give everything he had. Norberg tried to give everything he had. In the end, nobody had anything for this guy here. Back to back jacks. Joe Turney wins Pro X30 at Super Nationals 27. Unbelievable. Joe Turney undefeated in U.S. competition for the last year and a half. And now he can officially begin the celebrations. No more racing left for the 58. And he has doubled up in Vegas. He's won it all. And you can see how much it means and the elation for the Brit Henry. What a run. I have known that young man since he was 10 years <laughs> old. And I've known his mum, Siobhan, and his dad. They have been through so much in the last 18 months since he, that horrific accident at the 2023 World Championships. Questions were asked after this year's World Championship. And that young man there from Amp Hill near Milton Keynes in the United Kingdom has just answered all those questions emphatically. He may not be official world champion, but, but it's he official is here. one yeah. doubt. He is one of, if not the best in the world. We saw, of course, a show of respect. Ryan Norbert coming up to give him his congratulations. Daniel Tate, the mechanic there. Here comes Bryn Nuttall as well. The uh, Obviously the emotion of winning this particular category. Two wins for Car Republic as well, Xander, to win back-to-back -back here in this level of competition. You know what, how hard that is. Joe Turney just put on an absolute clinic, a tremendous run. The celebration will continue.